The Diamond VX series of antennas is quite an interesting series actually. The V obviously stands for vertical and I guess the X stands for X or no radials. That's my assumption anyway. But whatever the VX stands for, they're an interesting but small range of VHF, UHF antennas that may interest you. Before I start this video on the Diamond VX series, something that happened very recently which touched me. I was listening on 40 meters and there was a G3 operating CW um, on the QRP frequency or thereabouts uh, 7.030 and I tend to look up G3s on QRZ because there's not so many of us about now and I'd like to know a bit of history and I looked this guy up and he was licensed about the same time as me but he said that he now lived in a retirement complex where no permanent antennas were permitted or no fixed antennas were permitted and uh, I then went back to the uh, QSO that he just started up and he was explaining the difficulties he had that uh, had been, uh, been licensed for many years back in the early 60s and uh, he wanted to keep in touch and he actually had a sort of a fishing rod that he telescoped out with a bit of wire on it and he had a QRP rig um, running 5 watts and from the sound of his CW I think he was sending with a manual key and I had visions of this guy who had been a ham radio operator all his life, wanted to keep in touch and still wanted to enjoy ham radio with the limitations that was imposed on him because of his situation, his age and his where he was living now. And I really admired his determination to carry on operating. And of course, he was able to do this with the fact that he, he was being licensed for many years, but also the fact that he was operating CW with a very simple rig meant that he could keep in touch and he could still enjoy ham radio. And that, that really touched me. I thought this guy is a dedicated ham radio operator. And even when he's got all sorts of problems, in, particularly with antennas, he was managing to stay on the air. So well done to that guy. The Diamond VX series, an interesting range of antennas, just a small range, there's the VX30, there's the VX50 and there's a the VX400. We're going to look at the VX30 today because that's the uh, most compact one. The main feature of these antennas is that they don't have radials, which means to say that they're very compact, they're very sleek. We used to say that uh, you could put them in the boot of your car or in the back of your van or whatever you have. Low wind resistance, nice and sleek, it means to say they're not that conspicuous either. So if you're thinking of a two metre vertical, this might be the antenna that uh, would suit you. They're very well made. Let's, let's take a look at how the, the actual antenna all goes together. Because Diamond, you know, are, are very well known for the quality of their workmanship. There are copies around, but the Diamond antennas, the genuine Diamond antennas, they're very, very well engineered. And when you look at the actual construction of some of the copies, you realise that uh, it's worth paying that little bit extra for getting a decent antenna. I've mounted this VX30 on top of a telescopic fiberglass mast and you can see how sleek it is. The antenna, as I said, covers two bands, two meters and 70 sems, handles 150 watts and the VSWR is very flat. The resonant point seems to be 145 megahertz, um, but even at the bottom of the band at the SSB end, you're only going to get about uh, 1.2 to 1 and it's similar at the top of the band 145.9 or thereabouts. So it's a very flat response antenna and very neat, very sleek. Diamond are renowned for the quality of their engineering. This antenna goes together very quickly and it's certainly very weatherproof. 
The model I'm using is the end version with the end socket, but uh, you can have the PL version which is fitted with the SO239 socket. The mast support system comprises a collar and you feed the coax through this collar to the base of the antenna and once that collar is attached to the antenna you've got a waterproof connection there. You first need to pass the coax feeder through the alloy mounting tube and then attach the connector to the antenna. This also acts as a weather protector and you slide it up to the antenna and fasten it with the bolt provided. Two cast alloy brackets are provided and you need to slide those up and space them on the mounting tube. That completes the assembly and there's two U-bolts provided which will accommodate masts up to two and a half inches so no problem there. And here's the antenna mounted on the fiberglass telescopic mast that I was using for the test. The gain on 2 meters is 2.15 dBi which effectively is the same as a vertical dipole and on 70 sems it's 5.5 dBi so you've got uh, around about 3 dB gain over a dipole on 70 sems. Interestingly enough there's also a tri-band version of this antenna, it's called the VX4000 and that gives you 2 meters, 70 sems and 23 sems. So if for example you've got something like the ICOM 9700 transceiver, then you could have a vertical, a simple vertical that will work on three bands. It's the same size, same physical size as the um, VX30. I'll put it up on the screen now. We can just have a quick look at the, uh, what, whatever the, what the gain is on 23 sems. And here you can see that on 23 sems you get 9.62 dBi. What's that? That's about 7 dB gain over a dipole. Strangely enough, there's a smidge more gain on 2 meters and 70 sems. But the antenna is the same length, 1.3 meters. So it's an interesting alternative if you're interested in 23 sems. And also... Diamond now make a VX50. The VX50 is a longer version of the VX30. It gives you gain on 2 metres and 70 cm. So we'll take a look at that now, put that up on the screen. And here you see the VX50 is somewhat longer. It's 1.7 metres long and it gives you an extra 2 dB of gain on 2 metres and an extra 2 dB on 70 cm. Strangely enough, the power rating is slightly less. It's 100 watts FM, but that should be enough for most applications. So the nicely made antennas, and by the way, Walters and Stanton stock all these antennas, of course, and we are the official UK importers for diamond antennas from Japan, so you get very good backup service. One interesting thing that I tried when I was um, at the holiday home in Suffolk was... I tried the antenna horizontally because basically the antenna is a half wave dipole and if you turn it horizontally you would expect to get a loss um, on uh, vertical transmissions and a gain on two meter transmissions. I was really interested in how well the antenna would work on SSB because SSB on the VHF bands is horizontally polarised and we're talking about a vertical antenna. So I wonder what would happen if I turn the antenna horizontally. And to my surprise, the improvement was not as great as I expected. It was no more than around about 6 or 7 dB. Or in other terms, the loss on a horizontally polarised signal would also be around about 6 or 7 dB. Now that was less than I anticipated. Grant you, it wasn't a very carefully um, sort of documented or the, the test wasn't carried out very carefully other than rotating the antenna in the horizontal position back into the vertical. But the difference was only about 6 or 7 dB, which surprised me a bit. So what it does mean is if you're looking for a general coverage antenna, I say general coverage, I mean for two meters for SSB and FM, and you don't want, or you haven't got a rotator, and you just want to stick an antenna up, 
it still will enable you to work SSB. When there's SSB on, of course, because in two meters, the SSB seems to all of a sudden appear on the first Tuesday of every month, courtesy of the RSGB activity evenings. But there are other events as well. Um, but anyway, the point is that if you want to operate SSB and you haven't got, can't afford, can't justify rotator, you can stick this antenna up and you should be able to work some interesting SSB contacts as well as your regular FM contacts. So, interesting. A lot of this video was actually shot in Suffolk and I came across a rather interesting farm shop near Saxmundham in Suffolk. An incredibly large array of foodstuffs, deli, fresh, fresh vegetables, all sorts of foods that you would not normally see in your supermarket. So if you're near Saxmundham, have a look at the Friday Street Farm Shop. Very interesting. Not so sure it's that healthy, unless you stay in the vegetable department, of course. And to support the antenna for the test, I'm using this MFJ fiberglass telescopic mast. It's very good actually, it uh, clamps very firmly. You raise it to whatever height you want, uh, press the clamp, and it's uh, done. Job done, very simple. And we stock those, of course, as well. So that's it, another video. Thanks for your support on this channel, much appreciated. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. And I do value all your comments and so forth. It's interesting reading. I can't reply to them all, but I'm sure you understand that. But the, nevertheless, it's interesting reading. And don't forget, Waterson Stanton got a great uh, shop full of amateur radio gear. We've got a website full of amateur radio gear, and we're forever adding new products, so check it out regularly. In the meantime, once again, thanks for your support. You take care, and as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.